Oh my god, this is so sweet. Uh, whoa! I have no more healing. I have to be very careful now. For the past three years, I have sought out to play through games I never could due to one reason or another. These are the games I've completed since. I have now decided to just upload my journeys to YouTube so others may go through them with me. This is my journey through Final Fantasy 16. Yep, I saw that coming. That's not good at all. Please tell me open my eyes and Josh was just over there like, ah, you're finally awake because I need to see this reunion like now. Five years later? What the fuck? I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Sid say that? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to use Sid's power. I'm not too well versed in the uh, lore of Final Fantasy, so I don't know the exact name of his i know if i know ifrit i know shiva i knew garuda it's rama i didn't do that one i didn't know ramu or whatever how the fuck excuse me oh, jesus christ i did not mean to do that <laughs> that actually just scared the fuck out of me Bro, there's like 20 of y'all like back there, bro. I'm not. <laughs> y'all ain't shit. Talk shit, get hit, bitch. Why do we slow down every time we talk? Like, it's so annoying. Just let me run. That's the main gate. Motherfucker! I just started running! Again. Okay. What is it now? I told you! We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Yes, we do actually. Die along with your flame. You're about to get absolutely fucking dogged, my guy. Absolutely demolished. Oh! A noble stand. Albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. That this land is in dire need of cleansing. Hey, it's my face, pussy. Nine of the lasting dark. I don't know why you guys keep trying it, bro. I am not the one to be fucked with. Eat shit, pussy. Rolled. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit.
Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I. Sir Crandall of Camelot, <laughs> royal servant to her serene holiness, Saint <laughs> Sybil the Unshod. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. <laughs> the infectious flax wench e even in death must thou plague me still very well i shall open the gates of hell is he crying oh my, oh my god, god this god. is so sweet <laughs> this is so oh, sweet and god. cute you're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> you always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> That was a nice scene. I enjoyed that so very much. You arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Why would we lie? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? your own of course you've always been a terrible liar <laughs> this is so cute is that true it's not untrue let's say no more about it eh? <laughs> you to linger on my nephew's greatest failing
This is one of my favorite scenes in the whole Thing game. I cannot <laughs> believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> I love this so much. Who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, <laughs> fetch me my cutlass. That was one of the most British things I've ever heard in my la in my life. Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cute. That looks like a big boss arena. It's just a giant circle. Who's that? Does it ring a bell? Everyone! Oh, that's the guy, huh? To beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders, fought your wars, all to protect the children you took, just as you took me. And what did you do in return? souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid just as the Holy Mother wills it. Repent, abomination, for a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymrich is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black. Though not by ether, but by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more, nor will I suffer you to create another. Off, Queen. <laughs> Does the beast bear its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Kill them. Ha, huh, yeah, good luck. Oh, wait. Is that Joshua? Huh? What? 
What the fuck is that? Uh Real big boy alert. She's just straight Shiva right now. to start it's something she won't be able to hold that lava back forever we better make this quick liquid flame is what it's called you thought bitch Hit me? The fuck? Damn, it's too late. What? I'm getting him, I'm getting him, I'm getting him. <laughs> well, there. What? <clears throat> uh oh. What's he doing? Uh. Jill? You wanna take a look at this? Oh shit, diamond dust. Alright. I won't take long. Just for yourself. You turn to a dog? What the fuck? This is awkward. Bitch. Bitch. And now he's a dragon. It looks like Diablo. Can you fucking stop zipping around, bro? Chill out! Get him. 
tower. Oh, 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 okay. I'm gonna need you to stop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I got hit by it. This fucking thing won't stop moving. That's enough. Good, babe. I'm going to finish this, Clive. Yeah, where'd they go? I didn't even see where they went. Fuck did everyone go? I think this would have been an opportune moment to have like we spam a square, but you know it's fine. Destroyed it. Oh, oh. We destroyed it. What? What? Monster. Monster. Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, Father. I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. <laughs> May the blessing of the crystals go with you. You fucked, idiot. Ah! Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. How did this happen? How did... I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. 
Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your slowering moment. to the festive. Festivities. Oh shit, Torgal's about to do some crazy shit. <laughs> It's up to me then. <sighs> and Torgal. <laughs> Don't forget Torgal. again you bring the prisoner <laughs> yes no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw <laughs> we should get into mine <laughs> Lord Koopka commands your presence you're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Lord Kupka can fucking kill- Go fuck himself, bro. Gav! Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. I blinked. In the courtyard. Shit. We have to hurry. The Imperials are that like C Prism Stone? Like we can't castle. become the place is We can't so use our dominant powers? Men. Them shits on? Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. Gav is the goat. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. Why do I get the pressing feeling that we're going to be too late and Jill's going to I die? To get to the courtyard. Maybe we save her, but she dies anyways. That's yes, just blinding. Don't you let her die. We are fucked if you don't. Uh, 
Oh my god, Torgal is... Holy shit, what is Torgal doing? What the fuck? Huh? Exact. Okay. Whoa! What the hell? The fuck happened to Torgal? Tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Holy shit, Torgal! Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Torgal, thank you. I got like explain what the fuck your job just is. Everyone with me. That includes you. What am I doing? No, like actually, what the fuck was that? Not what I meant to do. Oh my. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Yo, Torgal looks so sick. Yeah. Excellent. Then Lord Kupka's reward should be ours. Go ahead and try. What the fuck happened to me? They really thought they were a character. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. 
Then they won't start gold, bro. until Koopk is dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. I don't like being separated from Jill. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he didn't do shit to Benedicta. Am I own? Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was you. Okay, I don't know if that was a smart play to do, Clive, but... You... You killed her. Yeah, but, you know... I did. Fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. Hail me, Rosfield! You will pay. For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my bands! And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. This is so anime. 
You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. No die! Here we go. You thought. Feel like he's gonna hit like a truck. Okay, he does hit like a truck. I have to heal immediately. down here no not again Sound I'm hearing behind me. Oh, that sledgehammer shit is annoying. I try. Realize I broke his thing, man. Awkward. 
Oh no. Okay. He's way too slow. Christ Almighty. I have no more healing. I have to be very careful now. Oh my god, that's so big. That's definitely not the end of this fight, and I have no healing left. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not good at all. I just... I did just cut off his hands. He's about to transform, isn't he? Oh, wait. <gasps> that was the end of the fight. Or was it? <clears throat> wait, wait, yeah. When I took Benedictus' powers, it wasn't completely gone. She could just still use it, so... Oh, I, I thought he just got crushed Caesar style. Get yourself. Wait. 
are you?